I'm back with Carter. Uh, yeah, he just says hi. So, today I have some plans. First of all, we need to return back to the villager breeder with some more wood. And, um... I should call it vi villager imprisonment. Imprison imprisonment building. I can't talk. You guys know this. It is night. It is... There is no school. And furthermore, it is 1209. So, I cannot talk. Here's Carter's sad box. Well, yeah, the server wasn't lagging until you joined Carter. Oh, your whole PS4 is lagging. <laughs> Bro, it's about to get night. We literally just started this. Okay, yeah, start recording. Hey! Dang it, I tried to take the first one and I was like, oh. <laughs> Back up it again. Gamer X, let's go. There's a stupid fly on my TV again. I just hit the fly with my hand. This fly flew too close and I just swat I flicked it. Just flicked it out of the air, went flying. Woo! Dead fly now. This sad that sad box. You need to change that roof and the floor. Tip, uh what is it called? Diorite would go good for with uh, as a floor. I'd recommend using a stair roof. But as I was saying, guys, today we are working on the villager breeder and a road project. Because this trip, back and forth, through these mountains, it's ridiculous. The only good thing about it is the amount of wool I get on this trip. Every time I come back and forth here, I end up killing like 18 sheep. I don't, never, I never let it, let sheep live. When they're there, they die. I need the wool for the villager breeder. So is that your only plan, Carter? So you're just gonna work on your house for the whole video? <laughs> oh, I just made a very dangerous jump, Carter. So you know that uh, that cave on the way back, that huge cave on the side of the mountain? Dude, I can't sleep. I'm not even at my house yet. I'm making my way back. I told you I was getting frustrated because it was turning night on my way back. Oh, by the way, I was watching that guy's creepy pasta channel, and there's something apparently called Giant Steve. It's just a giant bloody Steve that... Oh, I almost fell off a cliff again. Again, I feel like that's going to kill me one day. I can see the lights of my land over there. These zombies are already after me. I think I'm triggering a rave. Not a raid, but a rave. The zombies are beginning to rave now that they see me. It's like, um, you know that guy called, um... One of the people I subscribed to, I think it was called... Adam something, but he made like Subnautica meme videos. Like what I mean by that is like Reaper Leviathans versus uh, exter or something, something of that matter. But it's kind of like those Ghost Leviathans, Raven. It's terrifying. Imagine you're playing music in your habitat, and then suddenly thousands upon thousands of Ghost Leviathans just shoot out of the water and start dancing. I would be running away. Or, I mean, swimming away since, you know, there's no land, usually. There's, like, two small islands. I remember a time, uh, that, um, what, like, you know how if you jump on gardens, plots, they, um, like, break? I remember a time, like, in old Minecraft, just walking on it would break it. You just have to put a fence around your garden because any monster or sheep that walks on it. I don't know why I said sheep, probably because of the fact that there's a sheep in front of me. Hey, by the way, real quick, but another thing, I guess. Um, 
So, you know how butchers, uh, they buy meat off of you, and it's basically a scam for you. Because they're taking all your meat. They actually do have one benefit. They buy sweet berries. One sweet berry for one emerald. I mean, like, that is an OP trade. You, sweet berries are something you can easily farm a mass. I just, this zombie just whacked me with a stick. It's kind of like, um, uh, whacking their chest. Oh, I almost forgot. Long John. My lord. We praise the wolf that I had to kill. We miss you, Dave, dearly. Would you like to say a few words, Carter? I will literally shoot this crossbow from here and kill you with one arrow all the way from my house. Why? I don't know. You didn't pay a good tribute to him. I paid him a tribute. I fed him beef when he was alive. I think. <laughs> That's going to... Oh, that just reminded me. Um, announcement. Um, so I was working on trying to get make start the best moment videos production. Hopefully that you all watch the video so you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, can someone please tell me in the comment section down below a good mobile editing app that will allow me to use videos that I made on YouTube? Because for whatever reason... It does not allow me to take video clips from my own videos and cut those clips and make and add it to another video. Instead it creates another video on its own instead of making a short which I can which I know I can make shorts and infuse them into videos. Sadly. So could someone please give me a good editing software for that is on mobile? Please. Like I'm desperate here. I need this. It is like a requirement for me. I like how cards are just being quiet. I I mean I guess I'm happy he's letting me uh speak. You're letting me speak. That's a good thing. Why would it be a bad thing? <laughs> I'm obviously talking, so I'm pretty sure I do want to speak. Okay. You have it there, folks. You have it there. You have it there. Okay, now, something I did not bring last time I was here was my leads. I'm going to make multiple boats, and I'm going to go on a rampage. By that, I mean I'm going to cut down every tree in existence. That is one of the goals today. But that's one of my goals always. Cut down every tree in existence. Also, we have another banner to add to the Hill of Depression. I don't remember what I called it in the last video, but it's now the Hill of Depression. Because that's easy for me to remember. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> that's probably not a good way to remember something. Also, why do I have two maps in my inventory? <laughs> I've crippled you. <laughs> One is slightly less ex less ex wait. One is more explored than the last. I'm keeping your map. You explored. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were in that the middle of the map looking for houses, weren't you? <laughs> I'm keeping your map. I'm keeping this. <laughs> okay. Oh, look a sheep. You will die today. Bah. I like how my sword broke if I'm striking a sh a sheep. I like that's what destroyed my shoulder. Like, that was the singular thing that destroyed the whole thing. Just a sheep. The power of wool breaks swords, apparently. I never knew a steel sword could be broken by wool. Bruh, this wood stuck up in the leaves. Okay, there we go. But yeah, um... By the way, I am not making that road go up a mountain. We're going right through the mountains. There will be a pathway leading directly, sh like directly through the mountains. It's not going to go above. It's not going to be above the mountain. I'm just going to mine right through it. 
because Luke the Notable did, and also the fact that it makes it is way more efficient for travel. Also, another thing, I have to climb on top of the dirt that hides my house so I don't destroy my garden getting into my house. Like I have to go through the. You you get you get the idea. It's a problem. It's a problem. Now what was I gonna do? Ah yes, right, 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 right. Make some sticks. Then make a new sword. Then I'm making another axe because mine's about to break. And I made the wrong type of axe. I made a wood axe. You know what? That was a waste of my wood. Very large waste of my wood. I'll just go ahead and put that axe in the useless chest. Just full of old tool. I like how the fact that I've killed so many sheep and, and throughout the this like throughout all of these days that I have 26 wool. I've killed that much sheep. That many sheep have died to me. I stole some of your what? Oh yeah, I forgot I took your wool too. <laughs> I made sure that was something I grabbed. Sorry. Oh, I'm mean, huh? I'll show you mean. If you want to talk mean, tell that to my villagers. Or no, tell, you should. You probably should tell. You can't complain about me being mean if you're talking in front of my villagers. My vill It means I've been very cruel or cruel. Um, I've been very rule to my villagers. I've been very cruel to my villagers. By the way, notice I'm saying they're my villagers. Not yours. Mine. Your mom. What was that for? Huh? You just burping at me? Oh. I know it's not a real burp, I'm just saying, like, no! You know, um, in old Minecraft, the sun used to rise in the north and set in the south? No, I'm just a person that played Minecraft since the beginning, almost. I'm OG. I'm OG compared to you, Carter. I mean, my viewers might want to know. Your viewers, too. How long How long have you been playing Minecraft? What year did you start? Like, how old were you when you started? You have no clue how old you were. How? Well, here, like, what was Minecraft like when you started playing? Can you at least answer that? Yeah. Depends on what the question is. You're, you're what? Your cows? Uh, no, I just let a zombie into your pen. <laughs> I'm kidding, Carter. I didn't do anything to your stupid cows. I don't know. They can despawn, you know. The fact, no, it despawned because I went into the world and you weren't in there and I was nowhere near your compound. So they could have despawned. You can check my footage. I never did anything to your cows. <laughs> I never did anything to your cows. Yes, really, I never did anything, Carter. Also, my project of... You know how there's that save the trees thing? First of all, I am, full, I am in full support of save the trees in real life, but at Minecraft... Destroy the trees. We don't breathe oxygen. We don't even open our mouths. We just... All we do... Is create particles out of food and then it disappears. We don't eat it, it just turns into particles. We don't even have mouths to open, we just have a lot. I don't even have a mouth. I have a mask. I have a mask from the COVID era. 
What'd you say? You became New Jersey for a little bit? Oh. You will never approach Dream's skill level. <laughs> and that's not my problem, that's the cow's problem, not mine. Why would I care about a cow? I, I locked up villagers in prisons. Why would I give a crap about a cow? Fair enough, fair enough, Carter. Fair enough. Can I tell you about another creepy pasta? Okay, so it's made by the same guy. Um, so it's about this uh, these two people that load up a world, and they spawn in a birch forest, and there's just a spruce tree in the center of the birch forest. They put a diamond block under it, and then they move the diamond, like they they live around it and the tree, you know. They put the diamond block under it and can left and all that crap. Or no, no, they left. Okay, so they built a house after put it around near that tree, and then they decided they were gonna move, cause I don't remember what happened, but something creepy was going on. I think the tree moved on top of the house. Is what happened. But um, so they took the diamond block out of underneath the tree and went very far away, and the tree was following them until eventually it killed them by falling out of the sky on them. Oh, that's your only reaction. Oh, how unfortunate. Okay, first of all, Minecraft does not have a backroom. See, only real... I feel like there's only... There's only two real entities, in my opinion, that are considered true creepypasta. Oh, it's night. Please sleep. Wait, where are you? On that mountain? I don't understand why you just don't make a mine. Anyways, continuing on. There's only true two. Oh my gosh, I can't talk because I'm yawning. Um, there's only two creepy pastas that, in my opinion, exist, and that is Noel and Hero Brian. Noel and Hero Brian. Hero Brian or Noel? A black. It's Steve, but the character is pitch black with white eyes. It's basically Hero Brian with a black textured skin. Like, just pitch black. He hides in the darkness until eventually he crashes your computer and gets your Minecraft account destroyed completely. That's why I think it's a true instance, because you can't really fake having a Minecraft account glitched and destroyed. It's hard to fake something like that. Same with Herobrine. Both those things happen with Herobrine and Null, and they both... I mean... These things turn, like, the people that experience these things, they haven't played Minecraft for years. I mean, why would you quit playing Minecraft unless you had a legitimate reason to? Uh, like, you'd have to be scared. Yeah, that was Hero Brown right there. This Drown? What on earth? I, I forgot Drowns can do this. They drop a, a Drown that I killed just dropped a Copper Ingot. Strange, right? If my face was strange, I would know it. And it's not strange. What is strange, though, is your mom. How she just stands there in that corner. Anyways. <laughs> okay, something I feel like I'm going to do is get a stone cutter villager. Do you know why? Because I can turn stone into emeralds. As well as sand and other stuff. So, 
Yeah, um... I'm gonna be a very rich man. I don't really need the- I'm- you know what, I'm gonna keep the copper ingot. I don't even need it, but you know, I'll keep it. Okay, what do I not need in my inventory before I leave? Well, I don't need this raw mutton. I don't need any- most of this stuff that I'm carrying on me right now. I don't really need the- what? Um, there's... Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, sorry guys about the yawn. I'm... It's just a thing. I'm tired. I'm a tired man. Anyways, though. Um... More villager abduction. Abduction. Also, I forgot to say disclaimer. You never know what's going to happen in these videos. I um, mean, I feel like your viewers might enjoy shorter videos after your recent postings. Ah, yes, here's the cliff. I almost fell off again. I keep saying cliff. Here's the cliff. I almost fell a proper English just a few seconds ago. You see, I've been practicing a few accents, and they've uh, they've destroyed my ability to speak English. I mean, you all probably know I have a southern accent. I mean, it's very prominent. I feel like if you guys don't know I have a southern accent, that you haven't really paid attention to how I talk. I mean, I say y'all. That's I mean, that's as southern as it gets. <laughs> Because she does what? I mean, technically everyone in the world has a specific accent. Um, anyone that lives around this part of this area, southern U.S., I'm not specifying states. I feel like that's too, uh, that's how we're going to die. But, you know, anybody that lives around the southern areas in the United States has a southern accent. I, like at the house? Oh, yeah, I remember that. The Russians were here. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> ah, you finally fixed that horrible roof. Ah, you did not fix your horrible roof. Hello, child. I have the best food in the game. It's known as bread. Boga, boga, boga. Why do you have an elytra? Oh, wait, that's just your cape. <laughs> I thought you had an elytra. I was like, what? What? There's no way you would have obtained that before, man. Uh, let me just double check that this one is mine. Yes, you can have your map back. <sighs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I feel like I need to breathe more. Because yawning is caused by, um... Breathe. Yawning is caused by not getting enough oxygen to your brain. No. It's just you not. I thought you would be rejoicing in laughter. <laughs> you gotta do what? Hmm. Okay, I'm coming inside. I gotta see how this is. So you have an empty pin over here. Okay, you did not fix this floor. You didn't fix this floor either. Are you in the roof? I'd rather not have grabbed that dirt. 
Because I will throw it around your house. Anyways, uh, would you? What do you have for trades? Can I buy that wool off of you? Okay. Um, I'll take the wool in here. I'll just put this and this in there. Thank you. Now I've got some villagers to torture. Ooh, free leads. Just happen to be chilling outside your house. As well as another sheep that I will murder gruesomely. Or gruesomely. I keep saying gruesomely. Oh gosh. Yeah, we can say that. We, you, yeah, we'll make it official. You know, I cannot wait to have a road. I really just cannot wait to have a road going from connect. Uh, I will make a little bridge connecting to your house because I might come over there to smuggle some stuff. But the main point of the road is for when I get rails, I'm gonna make an abduc abduction tra abduc abduction track. Well, we'll be abduc abducting. <sighs> oh my gosh! Where I will be abducting villagers and bringing them back to my house for personal trades. I'll only be bringing the best. Only the best will come with me. I see the first sad house of the village. I feel like the lag is improving every time we record on this world. But it's never gone, unfortunately. Man, I wish... You know they lowered the maximum render distance, right? And one in the mo the recent or up, like the recent updates they kept lowering the maximum render distance. And on my phone, the render distance I never lowered it with the update, so that like the maximum on my phone it's set for 64 chunks. And like if I ever even touch the render distance, I'm assuming it's probably going to go back down to 16 and I'm like, "Oh crap, I cannot touch this setting. I need to stay out of this entire tab." Okay, let's see which one of you are useless to me. Oh, right, first I gotta finish that abductor. Basically, the villagers that are not capable of giving me good trades will die. Or, you know, they're gonna spend eternity getting the breeding with everyone else. That sounds... I feel like that... Okay, when, sa when I'm saying that, I kind of feel like that's not such a bad punishment. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that, but, you know. They're gonna be stuck in the breeder for all of eternity. So you can feel as bad as you ever will be about a villager. Oh, I also forgot I gotta make a million bits. That was the whole point of buying all the wool off of you. I gotta make row after row of beds. You will notice how unhumane this is. Like, if you come over here, you will notice how inhumane this is. I don't, I don't know why I said unhumane, but this is really inhumane. What I'm doing over here. <laughs> I'm totally not running an underground smuggling business. Oh gosh. I don't even know how to place the beds, truly. I need to leave the villagers space to mingle. Are you coming down here or no? Okay, well, since you are, you're gonna see the inhumane conditions that the villagers are gonna have to endure. Okay, I placed a bed and glitched into the wall. That sounds like a safety hazard to me. I can't have any villagers escaping. They must have many children. I think three boats should be enough for imprisoning a bunch of people. Okay, who's gonna be the lucky few that gets to go into the breeder? By the way, notice I said lucky. Okay, which one of you all? Who is not doing a good... Also, we gotta fix up these farms here. I'm doing you a favor, villagers, so be happy about it. I feel like the only reason I would ever keep a villager in here that's a useless farmer 
By the way, when I'm in use, it's like people that are selling me crops that I don't have. Would only be to plant. They have another child. There's another child in here. I feel like I'm. This is gonna sound horrible, but I'm really compelled to shoot it with a bow and arrow. I'm tempted to shoot it. Okay, first person going to the breeder. Okay, let's see about you. You're also going to the breeder. Okay, two farmers are already ready for the breeder. Now I take put a lead on the boat and drag it. Okay, which one of you is next? Oh, you're not going to the breeder. You sell potatoes. You get to live. I got a few more farmers to check out, but these people are going. I got to drag this boat all the way towards the breeders. So. These people are dying today. I feel like I have a better chance of pushing the boat. Nope, that's not working. I'm just going to have to slowly drag the boat. It's going to be a very long process. There's a farmer on the roof, again, acting like he owns it all. Farmer, in reality, that would be a lie, because I own it all. Why are you, why are you over there where you're at? I feel like you're going towards my house. The only reason I'm not, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm asserting control over you constantly in this game because I'm worried that you're going to go to my house. Because I will speed over there and kill you. And I guess there's a lot of stuff on the mountain. This is taking a very long time just to get these guys close to the breeder. I'm not asserting my, I'm not technically leader, I'm just the guy that's protecting his house. Okay, this guy gets to live. Sorry for interrupting you, but that sounds ridiculous. You know I'm not going to do that to you, right? There's a farmer. There's multiple villagers stuck in the horse pen. How? Okay, you get to live too. You sell wheat. That's a crop I happen to have. You get to live too. You sell more potatoes. Even though their trades, like, their, the quality of their trades are absolutely horrible. Bro, I opened every single one of the gates on this pen, and they're all not g going out. Oh, never mind, they got out. Can you sleep, by the way? Well, no, hold on. I actually, while I'm waiting for you to go to the bed, I need to check for dark spots. I think it should be all good, though. I was, I was talking to myself. So yeah, all these farmers get to live. I feel like the wheat farmers are going to be my best farmers since seeing that I have a lot of wheat right now. You know, I could buy stuff off of this guy right now. You know, I'm going to. Okay, I just bought a lot. I just spent seven emeralds on a lot of bread. Now I have almost a stack of bread. My trading has begun. I'm losing profits, actually. <laughs> oh wait, who we got here? Okay, you're not going to the breeder. You're cool. You're cool. You at your bed yet? Cause I gotta transport these two villagers to the breeder. I still cannot find that dang um, fisherman. I 
Okay, how am I gonna go about getting these two into the breeder? I gotta watch out for the child getting into the boat. I gotta get these guys in two separate boats as well. I'm just not thinking about that. I feel I I wish I had an abduction track. Bro, they got back in the same boat again. Can I do that? Yet? Oh crap, the child went into the boat. I don't need the child. I'm not abducting you. So why'd you get in the boat? Why is it so hard to destroy boats? Fuck is the lag. Are you at your bed yet? Okay, I'm just gonna commandeer this guy's bed and um... Yeah. Yeah, basically, I assert so much dominance over these villagers that I'm literally able to pull them out of their bed, throw them on the floor of their house, and then sleep in their bed as they watch. I like how everything in my chat is Carter Games joined the game. Carter Games sleeping. Respawn point set. <laughs> There's literally a three messages there in my chat. How did I capture more villagers? They keep getting into the boats. I'm. This guy is so annoying. Just please break. Just please break this boat. I'm just trying to commandeer these, these two people. What? What did you do? Bro, why won't this guy get in the boat? He won't get in the boat. Nor can I break this boat. Okay, there. He went in the... Bruh, this guy literally had to go into the boat right after I placed another one. Not to mention this child is about to walk into every single boat I have right here. Because it's being very annoying. I'm thinking about killing it. I am being pushed to the, my end point here. Okay, you two go up against the wall as I break down this wall and I'm going to bring you through. And no other villager is to leave this village while this wall is down. If you, if any of you leave, you will be left outside the wall to die. And the child got in the boat again. Oh, this child. You know what? You know what? There, child's dead. I told them to obey my laws. They didn't. They didn't listen. They got in the boat. I'm only abducting you. These two villagers. I think they're both male, but they're being abducted. Ad abducted. I can't. You know I cannot talk right now, Carter. I just killed a child, so my the pra the trade price has probably skyrocketed. Don't worry, I'll save them. I'll become hero of the village with a raid. Why are there people always climbing the roofs of their houses? Like, they're trying to establish themselves as the dominant villager right now. To get these two boats up, what, like, up, you know, like, to get these boats up these, um, the blocks, I feel, I'm gonna use, wa I'm using waterfall tactics. Like, I'm just using water to create a waterfall so I can get these villagers to climb or these boats to climb the water you know and it works like a charm only problem is now is getting them into the breeder 
Come on, you can climb. You can climb. Villager one in the breeder. I feel like there's a way better way for me to do this. There probably is. Cave ambience in my villager breeder. That that means the game does not like what I'm doing. It's not appreciative of all the work I'm doing for it. And there you go. Two trapped villagers. Sitting in the tree. Huh? Villager one released. And they both got into the boat again. Oh my god. This boat is taking forever to break. Finally. You are free. You are free to go. Well, not free to go, but you're free to wander this, um, death trap. I'll give you all some bread. You each get three pieces of bread, that way you'll initiate breeding. I like how they're just walking around on top of the beds. They're scared. Okay, villager one has bread. They're mating. They're mating in front of me. They're literally mating in front of me. And I'm watching. For whatever reason. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this shack. Oh my god. <laughs> they literally, I gave one of them bread and they started mating instantly. For those, for those perverts, there you go. Huh? A fair trade? What? None of the minute. Hold on, let me am I recording and restart it?